Okay, so we're going to try and make this motor. So to get this, you need to take the the thing that's going to spin eventually, and we need to have it. I don't know how much you can see of that. You need to have it. We're just checking to see if we can see that. We need to have it so that the bare piece of wire runs alongside the middle of this blue thing that's going to spin. So if you kind of hold your thumb on it like that and then begin wrapping it round. Now as you begin to wrap it round, what you could do is use a little bit of sellotape just to help you. Hold on a second. So you can use a little bit of sellotape just to hold the one half on as you're doing it. Okay, so you should be able to see that we've got a piece of wire running parallel to the metal bit. Then making sure that you don't change direction. Notice I'm going round the same way. So I'm going round and round, keeping it as tight and as close in as you can. And then you're going to get to a point where you're going to run out of wire. So when you're at that point, we need to cut this wire off so it's similar to the other. So the way to do that is kind of estimate how long you need it to be. And then you can chop it off. And then this is the bit that you might struggle with, but you just need to take the coating off that wire. So you've done that, so you can see it's now bare. And then if you bend that in, that needs to also run alongside of the other side. So when you think you've got it, now just mine's come off a bit, but that shouldn't cause us too many problems. If we use a little bit of sellotape just on that side, then you should end up with something that looks a little bit like that. Okay, so we've got a coil of wire, we've got the two bare ends. The bare ends can't be sticking up any further than that. Uh, there's a reason for that in a second, which you'll see. All right, so that's thing number one made. Then we need to make the base. This is the base. And you should have, or you should have been given two pins, and you pop these pins in. Uh, sometimes if you've got pins that fit, by putting them both in beforehand, you can assemble it like this. So basically that pin needs to go through the two, so you can slide that pin through the two, but what we need on the middle of there is we need this thing that spins. So you need to take that out, slide this through, and then, if that was a little bit twisted, in a second, Okay, so the whole thing should spin. Right, we've got two pins that seem to be slightly different lengths, but we'll have a go. Let me just get a different pin. Not entirely convinced that's going to spin, but we'll see. Right, then the magnets. So you've got something called a yoke, which is just a piece of metal, shaped like that. And you need to stick the magnets together, and then separate them, and keep them as though they're attracting. Because when you place them either side of this, you need to have it so that they are attracting. So we don't know which is the north and which is the south, but you need to assume that you've got a north and a south opposite each other, so they're attracting. The way to test it is just make sure they're sticking and separate like that. And then this whole thing that you've just made needs to slide between the magnets. And this is the difficult bit. You can see I haven't done a brilliant job of this because the whole thing needs to spin. Okay, so the bit that you've made of the wire around it should be placed in between the two magnets which as we've said should be attracting and when you've got it all in a position it should spin like that okay that you must make sure it spins if you've got any bits of sellotape like trim it off uh, make it make sure it spins nicely then what you need to do is we've got to try not connect these because if we connect those to those wires the whole thing's not going to turn is it because all the wires are just going to get mixed up so we can't do that but we've got to make it so the electricity or the current flows through it 
and then as it turns it's going to kind of come away from the crocodile clips and then as it turns it will connect to the crocodile clips again so if I show you you'll see what it means. The way to do this is get two wires into a power pack if you can't see it there's a power pack there and we need to get those onto these two pieces of wire. Now there is an important reason that you have to make sure that this thing starts off horizontal so the thing that you've made with the wire around needs to be horizontal and then get on and hopefully you can see this if I just try and move those into the centre and touch on the wires and it starts to spin. We'll try it one more time. Oh see I'm glad I, glad I did get it working once. So we'll go in there you go. And that will happily keep spinning if you can keep your fingers in there and not, not get stuck on the magnets. There you go, one motor.